Hey party people, this is Jerry from Jump Malai Plays Games and we are at the Gorilla Games booth and we're talking to Jeff Sidek, designer of Battle Stations and he also has this game called Battle Stations Dirt Side. So this is like a continuation of Battle Stations? This is coming... Exactly. It's a complete standalone game. Oh, okay. It uses the same uh, same rule system as Battle Stations, but the huge difference is that this is unmoderated, so it's completely soloable. Okay. Uh, you don't have to fudge anything. It's just that's how it's built. But this is still multiplayer. You like one through multiplayer, yeah. right. one through nine. Wow. Okay. Um, All right. Let's the check this out. The wheels come off when you get to nine, but it's still fun. Right. Let's see it. So what you've got here is you've got a planet with, uh, it's going to be built of nine boards. We've got to kind of set up here because we're oh, okay. pressed for space. Okay. But they're double-sided boards, and you can flip them over to create different planets. Right. You've got different missions where sometimes you're going to be trying to get to your ship and get off. Sometimes you're trying to land the ship and find something. Or you're trying to uh, uh, shoot a ship that's up in space with your ground turrets. Mm -hmm. Or uh, you're trying to, uh, there could be a fire raging across you, trying to put out the fires. Uh, there could be a volcano that's uh, erupting lava across. You're trying to assemble a ship and get off. There's, uh, it is a cooperative game where you're trying to do stuff, and the different things you can do really vary vastly, and right. the threats also change. It's not just zombies always hoarding on, although there are hordes of grunts in, in one scenario. Okay. There's, uh, you know, the, the universe can come, the world can come to an end. So yeah. are, are these different enemies than, do you have so different enemies than the uh, battle stations? Do you have to have the original box or have that? This is going to be, uh, it's complete. You don't need the original box, but okay. it's fully compatible. Oh, it's fully compatible. So okay. if you have the original box, you can add it in and you've got all that stuff from it. Okay. So, so just like show us like a little, just a little bit how it works. You said sure. it's kind of the same system. Here, here, or? Here's a little taste of it. You've okay. got, uh, this might be your character. You've got a, uh, uh, a silicoid and these guys are big rocky dudes and they take one die less damage from every time they take damage. Okay, so it's a combat rolling game. Yes. Okay. So there's yeah. there's some combat. Some of the missions don't have combat. Okay. Um, so this guy is going to be uh, running around and, and beating on things. I'm, I'm going to have some of these are the skills on the left and then like the roll type on yeah. the right. Yeah. So, yeah, so the skills on the left, combat, engineering, piloting, and science. And then over on the right, you've got the movement and hit points and his target number and okay. luck and that sort oh, of stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. So, and one of the, my favorite mechanics in actually Battle Stations and Battle Stations Dirt Side is the luck mechanic. Oh, sorry. You've got, you've got six luck that you can spend to reroll damage you take or survival checks to see if your ship blows up, that sort of thing. Yeah. And what that does is it means early on if somebody, if the enemy rolls boxcars to kill you, you say, oh, I'll spend a luck and you re-roll re a six and re-roll. And you won't just die in the first, in the first right. frame of the, of the, the comic book. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, but by the end of the game, you've run out of luck, and if you get a bad run of luck, then you're out. Okay. So wow. You have to ease okay. that out. Wow. And I see you have different like terrain, uh, uh, like kind of terrains and things yeah. like this, and like. Uh... So each terrain has its own uh, effect. If you're driving on pavement, if there's going to be vehicles in dirt side. We don't oh, have vehicle snap. miniatures. Yes. Okay. So if you uh, if you're driving on terrain on uh, pavement with wheeled vehicles, then you don't need to make maneuver checks. Okay. But if you're driving through the forest and stuff, then you got to dodge the trees. Oh wow. Okay. And what type of enemies are in this game? Uh, I just kind of want to make sure that everybody understands oh. the theme and like what's going on. Like kind of. So like... Uh, the main enemy is going to be the uh, the grunts that you you actually just pull random miniatures out and say oh, oh. it looks like we're looks like we're fighting kerbites this time kerbites yeah. and um, these guys uh, can wear armor and they get a free assist action okay. to help each other to get plus one and as you pull them out of the box because you might have 30 or 40 minis on the table that you're fighting okay um, but if you're on the planet of the kerbites you always re replenish first from the kerbites okay um, so and then you've got uh, you got the Zawalans. These are the bug creatures that get. Um, they stop two points of damage every time they. You painted damage. these? I can tell. Let's uh, let me I, see. Let I painted. I painted that. Okay, let me see that. I painted that, All and right. then we can see. I had somebody who knows how to paint paint, paint another one. Okay. <laughs> Let's grab that other one. Hang on. Uh, it's gone. It's gone. Well. No, sorry. All oh, right. yeah. got it. Okay. No, that's, that's, that's okay. I also painted but that saw one. some more people that painted right. stuff. That's nice. All right. So, um, so this is Dirt Side, and each of the worlds has its own special thing. Like you might have a low gravity planet where it's oh, easier oh, to move, wow. or a high gravity planet where it's harder to move, or poisonous gases, or dangerous uh, flora that the trees and some of the worlds try to eat you. And depending on what scenario you're playing, and what world you're playing on, and what the threat is, it it recombines to have just I'm not going to say infinite replayability, but yeah. at least hundreds. And how many scenarios are in this game? This, uh, in this, this game, 
Currently, there are uh, 36, but there, there might be more. Wow. Well, thank you so much for sharing this one. This is, I'm assuming this is not in retail. This is going to be kickstarted soon? This is going to be kickstarted very soon. Okay. Where can, more pe where can people find out more about this game if there's kind of leading up to it so they can get kind of excited and hype about the game? I would go to GorillaBoardGames.com. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for that quick overview. There's a lot going on. You said 36 scenarios. You kind of threw me back a little bit. Yeah, there. well, there's stuff going on. <laughs> All right. So once again, this is Battle Station's Dirt Side. And you said it was standalone. It plays one to nine players. I'm assuming like 60 to whenever how many times you how many how long you want to be at the table yeah well the <laughs> scenarios are like 45 to 60 minutes and okay. if you want to play more play another scenario all right there you go party people jeremy from jumble i plays games gorilla games to pax 2018 i'm still going to be here last day so excited but i'm gonna keep bringing you coverage take care party people thank you for your time